Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, October 20th, the feast day of St. Maria Bertia Bascardin, and she was an Italian nun and nurse who displayed a pronounced devotion to duty in working with sick children and victims of the air raids of World War II, or sorry, World War I. Um, she ended up dying at the age of 34 on this day, back in 1922, which was not that long ago, honestly. Um, yeah, my, my grandparents were born in the 20s. so She is the patron saint of nurses, though, one of the patron saints of nurses. So, today's gospel is from Luke, chapter 12, verses 35 through 38. Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should, he, and should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Okay, so the um, we got a pretty short Bible verse today from Luke about uh, the vigilant and faithful servants. And as you go through this, um, let's first d define the term vigilant and what does vigilant mean. Vigilant is, is used to describe someone who keeps awake and is alert in order to avoid danger or problems. So you're constantly ready um, for whoever's coming. Um, and that's what today's gospel, as well as tomorrow's gospel, is going to be talking about relative to uh, Jesus Christ, of course, because we're, we're reading from the scripture. But... Uh, and then another thing I want to talk about is the watches of the night. Now, because it says, and should he come in the second or third watch, the nights were broken down into watches. The Jews broke it up into three watches and the Romans four. But watches were like the hour from 9 to 12 p.m., 9, 9 until midnight, 12 to 3, 3 to 6, and the Romans threw in 6 to 9. But it's talking about the, the watches of the night. Actually, maybe, yeah, that sounds right. I know for sure the three watches, but you might need to double check me on the, on the two, on the four watches. But either way, the fact that they're talking about the second or third watch in today's gospel means late at night, super late at night, like the, whenever most everybody else is sleeping. So that just shows the, the vigilance required that no matter what time Jesus comes or anybody comes, our master comes, that we are ready. And that's why they're referring to in this gospel those those second and third watches so 12 to 3 and 3 to 6 um, so that is uh, and it, what also the vision that came to mind to me while I was reading this just now again was a dog you know whenever you're if you have a dog no matter what time you get home whether it's 12 o'clock in the at night at midnight uh, one two three four five six o'clock in the morning your dog is ready and excited for your arrival. It doesn't matter. The dog doesn't sleep because you're the master and he's awaiting vigilantly for your return. And he's also protecting the house while you're gone. And so so that vision and that metaphor is what came to mind for me while I was reading this a second time this morning. Um, so we should be that way relative to our Lord. Uh, and that's the challenge for for today. In fact, I read a, a book yesterday, and I'm still reading. It's called Listen to the Silence for the Retreat. Um, and the quote that stood out to me is, The soul that neither misses Christ now nor longs to see him at life's end does not honestly love him. That's a pretty bold statement, but that's just virtually saying that we should be yearning for his second coming, or we should be excited to see him whether it be him coming to us first during the apocalypse, the end of the time, or us seeing him through our death, through our natural death. So that is the, the challenge for today. 
is are you vigilant for the Lord's upcoming arrival, no matter how and when it happens? So there we go. Have a great Tuesday. God bless and keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.